the previous videos, we mentioned about a story of a rookie without the knowledge of contract getting involved in a construction project where this rookie learned a hard lesson from his experience knowing the importance of a contract. Now let us look at another story here. Now the purpose of this story is to build up some fundamental knowledge to you who are taking this module in order to trigger your interest regarding whatever is going to be delivered in this module. Let us look at this scenario. We have company X which is the mother company of subsidiary company Y. Company X is the employer of this project. The company call for the commencement of the project, funding the project, getting the professionals to involve in order to manage and supervise the project as well as getting the contractors to carry out the construction work. Again, this is a traditional construction project. The project was being called because company X would like to expand its business, venturing into something new in order to diversify its business. Later, that particular project Upon handing over to company X, it will be parked under the management of company Y, which is its subsidiary. By the time the project is being called, the subsidiary company Y is yet to exist. That means all the preparation tasks is triggered and done by company X with the professionals as well as the contractors. Halfway of the project, Company X has officially set up the subsidiary Company Y. Now Company Y kicks in. As Company S is venturing into something new, they have limited knowledge regarding the needs of Company Y from the operational perspectives. It is only when company Y join in, they realize that the initial design was found not applicable. Significant change of the design will be required in order to ensure the operations of the said production line. Let's say now this rookie C is the employee of this company Y being given the responsibility to rectify this. Rookie C look into the entire design and realize that there are significant change required which has to be carried out. He then requested to the architects and the contractors and they call for variations orders. That means company X will have to pay for the cost of rectifications and redesign. They follow up with the request of the extensions of time, EOT. Now the questions arise. Can this case be classified under variations order? You know that this is going to incur additional cost to the company X. Is there any ways to avoid this? And do they have the ground to request for the extension of time? Here, probably rookie have some questions related to the variations orders. What is VO? What are the implications of VO? Under what circumstances warrants VO? Does the contractors have the ground to claim for VO? Probably who is the person to decide whether VO should be awarded? Is there any ways to prevent or minimize the VO claim by the contractors? Then some questions regarding the extension of time. What is EOT? What circumstances entitle EOT? Can the contractor claim for EOT under these circumstances? 
how long should the EOT be in this case? Let's say now if you are rookie B or you are the person advising this rookie B, how will you explain to rookie B regarding this?